Hi everyone, my name is Mo Saha and today I will show you how to color this page from my newest printable coloring book, Farm Fresh, which is a collection of 26 vegetables, fruits and herbs following the letters of the English alphabet as well as some recipe pages and 14 pages of bonus materials. When I started working on this coloring book, I was inspired by the farmer's market that we have here every summer. Walking into that market, hearing a live band and seeing all those really fresh vegetables straight from the grower is really inspiring. Even though I am, as a child, I was not very fond of vegetables. When I saw those vegetables fresh from the grower, they just impressed me. And I kept visiting the farmer's market every weekend because that's when they happen and just to see those beautiful fresh colors and eventually I started buying those vegetables and sketching them in my sketchbook. When I had quite a few then I decided why not just follow the letters of the alphabet and fill up those gaps that I didn't have. So I ran into two problems when I started doing that. There are some letters of the alphabet that do not have as many fruits or vegetables to their name. Say Q was one of them. I eventually found them all, but Q was one of those difficult, more difficult ones. Um, other than Q, there was X and U. Oh my goodness, I had, I had to do some research before I could find that. And then there was another problem. There were some letters of the alphabet where there's an abundance. It was hard to choose. So I started the book with the uh, with A, of course, and I couldn't do just one. I wanted to do more than one. So I ended up doing asparagus and artichoke both on the same page. So this is for the letter F. And the most common that I found were fig and fenugreek and there was fennel. This is what a fennel looks like. It's almost like so sculptural. I mean, if, I, if you remove that, you can see it's beautiful. It's like layers. You can see that you have to peel the layers off and there's this leaves on top. It's so tiny and yet it's just, it has so much character and I love that. And I finally decided, okay, I'm going to draw a fennel. In this particular vegetable, there are only two colors, basically. There's the white and then there's the green part. So how do you color this? I find that in nature, there's really nothing that is one solid color. If you are looking at something that is green, I would say not only green, I have chosen some four greens here. I also have yellows. I have blues. I even have some browns and grays to do the white part. Let me just start coloring and you will see what I mean like how I'm going to use these different colors to bring enough colors into a vegetable that's basically just two colors. So let's get started. I'm going to start with this one. This is a lemon yellow. And you know, I am using these Faber-Castell Aquarel Art Grip color pencils. You could use any colored pencils you have. You could also use markers and uh, watercolors if you print it on heavier cardstock, which you can. Check your printer settings, what, how much thickness it can take. And if it, if your home printer cannot stand up to a thicker paper, you can always take it to staples or places like uh, the office depot and very inexpensively, you can get these pages printed. This is today I'm working on a copier paper. So I'm working with a pencil. Right now I am pulling in the same yellow for my green parts, the stem part, and then there's the bottom layered part, but I'm using the exact same yellow in both places. So I just started with that yellow and as you can see, I'm not trying to stay within certain lines. You could, I mean, you could give it many different looks depending on how you color, but this is 
the way I'm going to do it today. I'm going to make it look quite realistic, not entirely, but somewhat. And because this coloring book is a printable, if you do not like how your page turned out after you finished coloring, just print another one. You are not limited by a certain number of pages that are provided to you. You have the freedom of resizing these. You have the freedom of printing them on the papers that you like, which means you can experiment with different coloring mediums. And if I bring this in, you will see that even though the bottom part is primarily white, there are some green bits here. I'm going to pull that green down. I'm going to start up here. All these colors, because this is a pretty flat drawing, with your colors, you can add that effect of shadowing, which is why I left the drawing very flat. I didn't try to add my own shadows here. So you can have the fun of coloring them and creating those light shadows. So here I'm starting with the green at the top, but then I'm going to pull that green down because it's not like a pure white white. Nothing ever is like that.
I think I'm finished. So, as you saw, even though it's primarily green, I used quite a few shades of blue and yellow along with brown with that green to create the coloring page. And the part that is white, of course, I didn't leave it white because there are certain parts that I did leave white because it's like it's the highlight and it's as it's it's a bulbous thing it's not flat so kind of to create that impression on a flat paper you need to add some colors that may not be in the original item so here's the colored page you can see all the variations if this was just I left this part white, this bottom part white, and colored those in a flat green. It would not have looked like this, obviously. And I don't think it would have looked nicer. And you can, now that you're done coloring with this page, you could cut this up. You could frame it because I have seen people frame their coloring pages. I do mine. And then, I mean, this would be great for kitchen. It's, it could be kitchen art. It could be, you could cut it up using your art journal, in your recipe books. Because you can print it in a reduced size, I think that lends itself very well to smaller journals and books, uh, book surfaces. And other than that, just enjoy coloring. I hope you enjoyed and please leave your thoughts in the comments. And thank you so much for watching.